Dr. Zinn and this is the Astro 5-5. This big box just arrived. Let's see what's inside. So people, a six year old to never use a sharp knife like this. Oh my god, look how big this telescope is. This is a Celestron Astro 55. It has Wi-Fi so I can control it with my iPad. Guess how much this costs. Got how much? This scope is normally a thousand dollars. Let's open it up. You're going to see all these bits of the telescope. This is the tripod. It's actually made of metal so it's really sturdy. This is called a star diagonal. You get two eyepieces to look for. This is the laser finder. You can use it to find stars. This is a little battery pack. What else do we have in here? The instruction manual. This is really heavy. This is the mount. It will control where the telescope moves. I think this is the accessory tray. This looks like the actual telescope. So this is the back of it, but I think this is the real telescope. It's five inches. Look down there. You can see the mirror. It's really heavy. I think that's it. Let's set it up. We should read the instructions, but no one reads the instructions. <laughs> This bit, screwdriver, bubble. to download the Sky Portal app. Let's go turn it on. Connect and align. Okay, we're connected. Wow, these mozzies. It says zero of three stars aligned. Use the on-screen buttons to move the scope's finder to a bright star and press enter. All right, let's find a bright star. A wire looked really good for the telescope, but we're getting bitten by mozzies. So we're gonna have to go back to Daddy's Observatory. Now I'm Dr. Zen, I hope you enjoy my review. Bye. Hi, Dr. Zen the Tan here. Just a few quick technical notes. Um, I still haven't opened the instruction manual and it was really easy to set up that telescope. My hope is that I can use the Astro 55 as just a, a run around portable scope for outreach and things like that. To connect to the scope, you have to connect to the Wi-Fi that the scope is putting out. So as soon as you flick the scope on, there's a local Wi-Fi network called Celestron something. Just connect to that and then you can open up the Sky Portal app and it will connect to the telescope. I did find that if I was anywhere near my home's Wi-Fi network, it would automatically drop out and try and reconnect to the home network. So I had to tell the iOS device, the iPad in this case, to forget the local network, the one that I normally connect to, so I would just maintain that connection. You can notice if the connection drops that the red light will flash, the red Wi-Fi light will flash on the side of the Astrofy. The other thing to note is that you, you do have to line the laser finder scope with a, an object in the distance. In, in our case we did it with a street light so that when we did go to aligning to the stars, when the red dot was on a star it was definitely 
within the eyepiece as well and that made things a lot easier. We had a little bit of trouble with the alignment routine and I'm not sure if it's because we were just out too early so the stars we were picking were not quite there but even then it was still quick enough to point to whatever I wanted to with the laser finder scope and get a good view of it. We didn't have the moon or the planets or anything like that out tonight but Orion was up in the sky and the detail was great. I could see the dark dust lanes within the Orion Nebula and it was definitely better than the Next Star 4SE that I have been using in the past. But the Next Star series and the evolution of course definitely has a better build quality. You get the hand controller and stuff like that. And the hand controller is a nice thing to have. You don't have to have a, another device like your phone or your iPad or anything like that. However, these are pretty well priced. Uh, I would check out the Bintel store for Australians or New Zealanders. That's bintel.com.au. The price that they have for the Astrophys is really low, much lower than the recommended retail. So tell them I sent you. I'm pretty sure they'll look after you. And with that, bye bye. Daddy, where my logo? logo we had but there's something behind it it says no looking at the sun because this is what it looks like looking at the sun no you can't look at the sun